channel, 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 channel. If you are new, my name is Rachel Amma and today I want to go through another what I eat in a day as a vegan. So I'm going to show you everything I get through breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I'm kind of doing this vlog style, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. We're going training, we're going grocery shopping and just day in the life of young Rachel, Rachel Amma, you know? So I really hope you guys enjoy this. I will show you the recipes of what I'm making and what I'm eating, getting that plant-based power, keyword, trying. Uh, yeah, so let's get straight into the video. So for breakfast, I'm making some porridge. So I've got some oats. I'm adding some homemade almond milk, heated up the oats, added a bit more milk. Then I added some raw cacao, some cinnamon, chia seeds, a touch of maple syrup, and then I'm just gonna mix it all together. So to top, I'm using half a banana, as well as some homemade granola and some frozen berries. I've had a lot of questions as to how I eat frozen berries in my cereal. Because my porridge is hot, as soon as I mix it up, the berries melt and it actually creates a really, really nice texture and I'm really obsessed with it. As you can see here, it kind of mixes and melts in and it is so, Tasty. This is my favorite breakfast. Yeah, so right now Rachel's doing a circuit that I just probably showed you guys. Boy, you know you make me float, float, float. Boy, you really give me high. There we go, come on. Now I gotta touch the ceiling. There we go. Yeah, we're not wasting no time. And move on. So that's been one round. We don't take no rest. We keep going. Last one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Last 10 seconds, Rachel. Give it some. <laughs> so, as you can see, Rachel is um, hinging at the hip whilst keeping her back nice and straight, and then at the top, really thrusting the hips. Two, three, four, five. Yes! I've been trying to get that even for ages. Just a little one to update on the training. There were a few exercises that I just could not do. Those are lunges, weighted squats, hip thrusts. I think those were the key ones. I've got some injuries with my glutes and those exercises were setting them off, as well as the weighted squat was putting a pressure point somewhere on my back that was really irritating me so we're not doing stuff like that so instead we are doing squats with dumbbells and holding those david's just found different ways to kind of keep me training and not aggravate any injuries that i have had so training is going well i am training four days a week which is more than what i was doing before so i do three days of a pt session and then i do one day of my thai training i did test my full body composition at the start so after eight weeks i'm going to go and look at the figures and look at the numbers to see what muscle i have built and just see how it's going and i will share that with you at the end but that's just a little update but anyway let's continue with my day Guys, what do I eat? What do I eat? What do I eat? We've got some falafels. Let's make some hummus. I feel like I'm really not good at this vlogging thing, but we're gonna try it. We're just gonna do it for today. Also, my, uh, what's it called? Little vlogging tripod thing is really broken, so it might keep flopping around. Also, I'm trying not to look at the camera because I am new to this vlogging thing. But yes, uh, I'm gonna go and get some chickpeas because I want to make some homemade hummus and I do not have any chickpeas which is really disappointing so I thought I would take you kind of grocery shopping with me a lot of you have been asking about grocery shopping and stuff like that I will do a separate video on it but just to kind of take you through like something a bit normal I thought I would bring you with the camera so look at that my tires are completely flat so I need to go and get those pumped up I did have a can you hear my dog 
I did have a back pump, but um, I lost it. Singing that song just the other day, saying how hot, hot, how, how hot and summery London is. It is back to cold. It is back to winter. No joke. No joke of a lie. No lies. We are cold again. This is generally where I get all my like organic, key, vegan stuff because they have everything, and it's local to me. So I'm really, really, really lucky. All the seasonings you could want. Vegan ice creams. <laughs> she's two years old and she's looking good as ever. So to make my hummus, I am adding some chickpeas to a blender as well as some garlic and some fresh lemon. Using roasted garlic will always taste better, but I did not have the time. Then I added some tahini and some olive oil. Then when I mix it, I just add water bit by bit until I get my desired texture. So then I'm making a salad out of some lettuce, some rocket, some spinach, I've got some falafels, I've got some cucumber, I cut up some cherry tomatoes, added some alfalfa sprouts, went in with a bit of spring onions, added an avocado, added my homemade hummus, sprinkled a little bit of olive oil, got some wholemeal pita bread, sprinkled on some lemon as well as sunflower, pumpkin seeds, salt and pepper, and that was my really tasty, delicious, salady, hummusy, falafel deliciousness. So for a snack, I made a protein smoothie because I was training today. So I added some frozen mango, some protein powder, some coconut water, some ice, some spinach, some moringa, blended it all up, added some chia seeds on top, and then I cut up an orange because oranges right now are so sweet and I'm loving it. That supermarket is where I get all the strange and unusual things. I get like organic raw cacao, organic spirulina, organic moringa, organic quinoa flour, organic cacao, all those kind of strange and unusual things that you don't find at normal supermarkets. That is where I get all that stuff from. But I, um, like I said, I will do a proper shopping haul because a lot of people have been asking me to do it and I do want to kind of help in that way. So I'm, I'm definitely going to put together a shopping haul. It'd be really interesting to know whether you guys want to see a shopping haul on a budget or like a general shopping haul or like vegan essentials. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of shopping haul you do want to see and then I can do that. So for dinner, I've got these meatless balls. I made these in my previous episode, which I will link down below. So inside is aubergines, chickpeas, seasoning, herbs, and everything. And then I had a tomato sauce and I just added some spinach. So there were two ways of eating this. One, I had sweet potato, which was infused with cinnamon and allspice and parsley. And then I had the pasta, kind of the authentic way. Um, I didn't eat both of these meals, by the way. I just kind of wanted to show you different ways of eating them. So delicious. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and kind of semi going grocery shopping, running a few errands, bringing you out with me, training with me, eating with me, all that good stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram too and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. And do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, if you enjoyed the food, if you enjoyed training with me, if you just enjoyed spending time with me, give me a thumbs up please and I will be back next week. Probably with some more recipes for you guys, cause y'all like the recipes. Budget recipes, Buddha bowls, what shall I do? You guys let me know in the comments. Although I, I need to start planning ahead. But um, yeah, if you have video recommendations in general, continue to let me know. I want to create content that is helping and inspiring. So any input really does help me and let me know in the comments. Other than that, I will see you guys next week and bye. Silent breeze.